Game 9 is the Patriots at the Titans, with a total of 46.5 and, and the Patriots favored by 6.5. Tom Brady faces a defense that's only allowed 11 touchdown passes this season, and the projection sites don't give him a huge ceiling in what's expected to be a low-scoring game. We've seen for years that Brady is mashup proof, but he's definitely not game script proof, and I expect the Patriots to favor the run. The Patriots love to spread the ball around, and the two leading receivers are now Josh Gordon and Julian Edelman. Gordon had his first big game as a Patriot last week, but we could see his ownership elevated from recency bias. Edelman has averaged nine targets a game since returning from injury, and the Patriots attacked slot corner Logan Ryan in their matchup with the Titans last year. And tight end Rob Gronkowski is still getting over six targets a game, but hasn't broken 100 yards or scored a touchdown since week one. Running back James White had the Patriots' backfield to himself the last couple weeks, and he's become so valuable to their offense that we can expect he'll still be featured even with the return of Sony Michel. White leads all running backs in targets, catches, and receiving touchdowns, but it's possible Michel's return puts a cap on White's ceiling. Titans quarterback Marcus Mariota has been excellent for the last two weeks, completing 70% of his passes and adding over 30 rushing yards a game. His box scores have been streaky this season, but I love Mariota versus the Pats, and we can expect him to play from behind, plus he's dirt cheap over on DraftKings. The only Titans receiver to get reliable targets is Corey Davis, and while he had his best game of the season against a tough Eagles defense, it's hard to be optimistic when he's facing the shadow coverage of Stephen Gilmore. Still, the volume should be there on Sunday, and if you play Mariota, then Davis is the obvious pairing. Of course you're not going to play Derrick Henry in a game the Titans are expected to lose, but you might play Deion Lewis, who has 23 and 19 touches in the last two weeks, and faces a Patriots defense that's ranked 28th in points allowed to receiving backs. Considering his cheap price and the game script obviously working in his favor, I expect Lewis to be one of the highest-owned players on DraftKings.